myself is Dr. Pradeep Kumar Goswami. I'm a consultant gynecologist and obstetrician and a subspecialist in fetal and maternal medicine. I'm the founder and director of Fetomat Foundation and the lead consultant in this team. Well, anatomy scan is a structural assessment of the baby or structural screening of the baby. It is also called as anomaly scan. That means whether the baby have any structural problem. Now, it should be done in every pregnancy, somewhere around the fifth month of the pregnancy. So, it, the time is between 18 to 22 weeks of the pregnancy where virtually every single organs of the baby are assessed by ultrasound. So we start off with the baby's head, uh, right the, coming down into the chest, assessing the, uh, uh, the lungs and the heart, coming down, assessing the intestines, the kidneys, the bladder, uh, then coming down further, assessing the lower limbs, as well as the upper limbs, the baby's spine. So, as you know, you know, every single organs, light from the hair to the toenails are assessed. Now, obviously, when we assess, we expect everything to find as normal. That should be uh, happen, that should happen in most of the cases. However, in some cases, there will be possibility of a problem. If you see that data, every 100 scans you do for anatomical assessment of the baby or anomaly scan, Roughly about 5 to 6 babies will have a problem, but 95 or 96 uh, babies will be fine, you know. Now, out of those 5 to 6 percent of the babies will have problem, that is in the general population, there are three types of problems that can be identified. One is uh, problems which are not compatible with normal life, something what we call as like an encephaly, where the half of the baby's head do not develop. So, in those cases, we uh, offer termination if it is identified in the right time. But in some cases, there will be problems identified which may be associated with potential physical and mental handicap in the child, which is usually associated with chromosomal problems like Down's syndrome. In those cases, parents are appropriately counseled and then they can decide on whether they want to continue with the pregnancy or not. And the third group and the fourth group is when there is a problem identified, there are several uh, problems which can be now treated inside the mother's uterus on the fetus through intrauterine surgeries, uh, something like a problem with the baby's bladder and things like that. Sometimes some problems happening with the twin pregnancy called as twin to twin transfusion syndrome. So, these cases can be attempted to be cured or modified inside the mother's uterus. And then there are some problems when they are identified and potentially thought to be curable. These babies can be delivered at special places with a previous involvement of pediatric surgeon and a good neonatology team. And the operations can be done after the uh, birth of the baby and a potential cure is possible. However, it is important to stress that in anatomy scan, most of the babies will be found to be normal and that, it, that would, will be a good reassurance to the parents. It is also important to stress that not all problems can be seen at 20 week scans and neither it is possible to detect all problems, you know. So, sometimes with the brain problems, we are more or less sure we can see almost 100% of the problems. But say with the problems of the heart, the minor problems like ventricular septal defects and things, they may not be identified during the course of the anatomy scan. So roughly the detection rate of a major heart problem in most of the centers in the world is around 60%. So the range is somewhere between 60 to 100% of all the problems should be identified. Roughly 70 to 80% is the detection rate of a problem through anatomy scan. So it is important that not all the problems are uh, seen during the second trimester or 20 week scans because they are uh, actually modified or developed after that 
at around eight months of the pregnancy or seven and a half months of the pregnancy particularly the intestinal problems uh, sometimes the problems related to bones you know short bones and things achondroplasia they can be seen in the later half of the pregnancy however most of the major problems of the baby should be picked up potential parents can be appropriately counseled to give an outcome view and the choice to continue in case uh, the pregnancy has a, a, a problem child.